Um, here's Fez's Thanksgiving. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fez, your food looks hideous. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It might have been the darkness of the restaurant. Dude, the fucking food looks like 1983 cruise ship. Well, we didn't go where I wanted to. Why didn't you go where you wanted to? <laughs> Couldn't get reservations when we added one more person. Who'd you add? Shelby. <laughs> no, you only took Shelby there to tease your mom? Yes. Did it work? Yes. My mother was very quiet all throughout dinner. Very quiet the rest of her trip. Why does that make you happy? <laughs> Why does hurting your mom's feelings at Thanksgiving Ruining. after flying her up here make you feel good? Because if I ever do get a real boyfriend, I want to test this reaction. Fez, Shelby, here's what Fez looks. Fez looks like he just is the producer of Kinky Boots. <laughs> With his assistant slash twink. <laughs> I don't know if people still bring up the term matching, but that shirt and that scarf are the exact opposite, which makes you the opposite of gay. <laughs> that food is so far from Bar American. I'm sorry, dude. Those That's mushrooms. That's fucking hideous. Look yeah, lackluster. we were in a completely different last minute restaurant. Um, so you weren't happy with the food? No, it, well, I knew it wasn't Bar American. That's that was, not what I said. Was the food good? No. It was it was it wasn't like a memorable Thanksgiving meal. You know, and I wanted something special there because I was teasing my mother thinking that I was dating a twink. It was Thanksgiving. My Why family is, was in New York. Your mom's so, a million years old. Yes, you can see her in the picture. <laughs> Why would you put a picture of your mom up there? Well, that was the whole thing. I wanted everyone to see me with my arm around Shelby with my very quiet family. And even your sister and niece were horrified? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I gave... Um, they were nice enough to say goodbye to Shelby at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. My mother stayed off in the distance. So you used Thanksgiving dinner with your entire family coming up to New York as just a ploy to hurt your mother. Yes. That's and that was the only good part about it. To make her think that you were banging an intern. <laughs> and I gave Shelby an extended hug at the end of the night. Oh, God. Did you nuzzle his neck? I, mean, what the I asked fuck? Shelby how it went. A, he said he didn't eat the brown thing. <laughs> <laughs> that the food is now being referred to as the brown thing. Awful. And then he said Fez ordered fries for the table because, you know, you can only get them on Thanksgiving. Um, he also said this, Fez. Fez's mom is a nice, regular old lady and not the evil person Fez lets on. Shelby, my date, did not grow up with her. I trust Shelby more than you. I mean, Shelby you just... doesn't know what gets said in private. I'm on Shelby's side. I don't know if I had a child who made me think that they were banging a twink only to ruin my Thanksgiving. As horrifying as the family there, looking at the food that you ate is just beyond. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Is this a salmon? I don't even... It's salmon in the way that salmon doesn't get done no. in this decade. And then the brown thing, which looks like some of the aliens from E.T. were killed and laid on the top of it. Were you tripping after you ate this thing? I didn't eat the mushrooms. I had no idea those were mushrooms. Yeah. Why don't you order a turkey dinner for everyone? Uh, other people did have turkey dinner. Why don't you order a turkey for the table? Oh, they didn't serve it that way. Oh, you really did get, get french fries? I'm not kidding when I say there's 5,700 restaurants in this area. Yeah. And he went to a place called the... Uh, 1983 cruise ship and then asked for giant sperm to be all over his brown meat. Uh, CJ, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Man, I tell you what, you just, you, there's, there's a new layer now to Fez. This is, this is amazing that that was his Thanksgiving plan. <laughs> Like, his Thanksgiving plan was to ruin his... Man. It's really diabolical. He has a religious mother 
yes. who's concerned that her son is going to burn in hell. Rather than say, look, mother, I'm with someone that I care about, and we love you, and we hope you love us. Instead, he hires a young kid to go in there and make his mother look uncomfortable. A hungry young boy. Let's face it. His mother would have been uncomfortable if Shelby was a girl in that age. But the whole point was to have a family up for a nice Thanksgiving in the city at this world-famous restaurant, and none of that happened. So nobody had a good Thanksgiving in Texas. Not one of them. Do you think any of them enjoyed themselves? Oh, they said they did. But when there's that many complaints along the way, and there's that much having to move people back and forth because, oh, it's too cold, and let's go somewhere. No, let's get another cab and turn around and go back. I can't imagine they had a good time, but everyone said they did. I don't understand. I guess it's just the five, just in the middle. Um, Turtle in Iowa, you're on the run of Fez show. Maha, buddies. Hey, I wanted to know if Fez was able to twist the knife a little bit and uh, hold Shelby's hand in a you know really romantic way while they strolled down the streets of New York with his mother present. No, we didn't have any walking time together, but my arm was around Shelby's chair through a lot of the meal. <laughs> and I kept, at one point, I was just rubbing his back. Why would you want to hurt your mom on Thanksgiving? God. I don't get Just, Just walk me through what you gained from the giving her an uncomfortable Thanksgiving night. First of all, it was fun just to, it felt good to have a boyfriend for the night, even if it was just pretend. All right, for that, that, A, that's nuts. You don't have a boyfriend for the night. It shall be our old intern pretending to be, to, to help you make your mom feel bad. And by the way, he thinks your mom is nicer than you and the, and the fries for the table. All right. So, number one, it felt good to play dress up and pretend that you have a boyfriend. All right, number two. Number two was the constant complaining throughout the entire trip that made it a disaster from my mother. So, I had no problem doing this back. Oh, this is the hotel room? Oh, I didn't get my own room? Oh, we walk into the restaurant. First thing is said, there's no mashed potatoes. Everything was wrong with this trip, according to my mother. Oh, this is where we're going to sit for the parade? Everything was a disaster. Did, so I had no problem. Did she enjoy the parade? No. She, I hauled her ass out there at 6 a.m. to get a good seat so we're all set on 6th Avenue for the Macy's Day Parade. She was there five minutes. It's too cold. I need to go back to the hotel room. I, how old is your mom? My mom is 77. She's 77. And by the way, has lived in Florida for 50 years. So you're not used to cold weather. I remember when I came up here from Florida, even though I had grown up in the Northeast, it took me a full winter <laughs> to not move, to not move back to Florida. The first winter I was here, I was like, I don't think I could do this. It's almost like your blood thins out. Two, Fez. 77, it's tough to get around New York City. There's a lot of walking in New York City. I just had a mother-in-law here not too long ago, and we planned everything and went, you know, car to the event, car back, sat and talked about the event, planned the next thing. You just don't take them out on the streets like you do a younger person. They don't have it in them anymore. Yes, that's why I tried to do planning like that. And I've got two handicapped members of the family, one elderly one, and everyone, and I'm saying, let's get a car. Let's get a car. No, we can walk. We want to look at the stores. We want to look at the decorations. We're walking 15 minutes, and then we got to go back. Again, why don't you just have the car take them to Fifth Avenue, see the the windows there, plant a coffee in the middle of it. Oh, Did you take them to the plaza downstairs where there's like that food court? It's close to where all the stuff is. And they're in the plaza? No, I didn't do that. Why didn't you check with me and say, is, is, here's the things I should do? Or we, uh, you know, go to the iBang where we do the right way. Check with what we should do. We could have helped you set this up. You wouldn't have been eating a brown thing with sperm all over it. 
And then whatever happened to that salmon? You ate some jizz fried steak, is what you just ate there. And Shelby's literally a prostitute now. Shelby had to do what he had to do for a free meal. I, un I understand that, but that's prostitution. Male prostitution. If as you're soliciting young men to hurt your mother. And you didn't know she was going to complain about everything. So you hatched this plan before she even came up. That is a very good point. I didn't mind doing it. I could have very easily but said, you made up Shelby is just, uh, can't get home for Thanksgiving. I brought him with me. Yes. I could have easily done that. No, I decided to work it after all the complaining. But you, the idea of taking Shelby and us going, oh, twink him out, was to tease your mom. <laughs> yeah, we said, you gotta act weird with him. It's, it'll be fucking amazing. <laughs> So you set out at a certain point, and why wouldn't you take her to a place? You know, it's not weird to expect Thanksgiving food on Thanksgiving. All the restaurants do it. She could have had mashed potatoes, turkey, pumpkin pie. That's what they do. This restaurant had everything except mashed potatoes. Yeah, that's not everything. Did you look at the menu before choosing it? Yes, I did. Did you notice there was no mashed potatoes? No, I didn't notice that, but I thought it, it was I thought it was the most complete menu that would avoid complaints. Well, they said it's the most well-respected restaurant of 1983. Um, hey John, John, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey buddy. Yeah. Fez, would you have done this if your dad was around? This is ridiculous. <laughs> would I have done the Shelby thing? Yes. Yeah, I would have done it with my dad, yeah. You would have taunted at your dad? Would you have done taken him to that crap restaurant? No, I won't go to that restaurant again. Alright, but here's the thing. What did you finally get over the fact that A now at the end of it, you still don't have a boyfriend no. and your mom sees you as somebody who bangs a twenty two year old? Well, now I've got my mother realizing I'm gay. No. <laughs> but you're not. Yeah. I mean, you literally... You made her think that you bang a little kid, and you don't. Eventually, that boyfriend will be real. Also, the, the seats they have here looks like lawn furniture at the table. As you started us off with saying that you let me say they're sitting on lawn furniture. It looks like it looks like Wick. It's Wicker. It's Wicker's again, 1983. <laughs> That's when Wicker was in. Um, Mike, you're on the Run of Fez show. Ronnie B, a million bucks. Yeah. Doesn't um, Fez going to dinner and making his mother feel uncomfortable because? She is viewing Shelby and, and Fez's date as something as less than. Doesn't that invalidate all the outrage, that all the fake outrage that he has for language used on the Internet or what people call in with? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I mean, I'm at work, so I need to be careful of the words I'm using. But if, if you're doing this to your mom and you're bringing Shelby as a, as a date and you know your mom feel that that lifestyle is less than or different, um, doesn't that invalidate all the fake outrage that you have for when you when people call in and use certain language? I don't see where this is a reason to use slurs, if that's what you're getting at. No, I'm not trying. I'm, what I'm saying is the outrage that you have around slurs because you're doing this to your mom and making her feel uncomfortable and awkward at Thanksgiving dinner. So like my you're, mom should have just... You're buying, into the, you're buying into that stereotype, so you lose all the footing you have to be outraged for the language that gets used. Uh, I don't get this at all. Here's the, here's the deal. When an adult male attempts to bully his elderly mother, it's hard to understand the bullying. You're on. You're on the wrong here, Fess. This, this is. This is fucking. Crazy. She came to where I live. If I go visit her she and she's dating live. somebody, I would deal with it. Apparently, you didn't even let her in. Your, no, she's leaving tonight. 
Uh, she left last night. I couldn't take it, so she went home last night. Oh. She was scheduled to go home tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I was just, it was just, I was having panic attacks. Why are we having a panic attack? Just, I couldn't, it was too much. I couldn't move them all around, and I was worried about them every second. She went home last night. Did she want to go home? She said she did. Um, here is Mike. Mike, you're on the Run of Fed show. Okay. You're on you with the five. To, have you ever gone to the parade before this? No, never. So why get a 77-year-old woman out of bed at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to some parade that is a complete waste of time that is attended by tourists and idiots? Mike, I told her time and time again it's going to be cold. Why don't you just stay in the hotel room and watch it on TV? I told her time well, and time she, again. That's what she ended up doing. Yes, after I had to get her hauled back and forth twice. I don't know. I remember you saying that you were hoping it was going to be freezing cold because everybody, you were so looking forward to this trip. He said that, right? And I looked up the, the, what the temperature was going to be, 34. I this was wrong. And he was like, oh, good, that's great. This was not well planned out. The only thing that was well planned out was grabbing, the, <laughs> grabbing that kid's shelf. Right, here's the other thing that came up. And I remember Leslie, this was Leslie's idea. The parade comes past this building. Yeah. We have rooms that you could be in here. 37th floor, 36th floor, 19th floor. Fez, you told me you were going to take your family to the 19th floor, watch the parade. From the warm apartment, uh, from the warm uh, office building. That was also on my plan. Nobody wanted to do that. I told my mother when she was freezing at 6 a.m., I'll take you upstairs. No, I want to go back to the hotel room. Everyone knew we had that room available. Floor 19. Did you take them to it? No, they didn't want to. Why wouldn't they want to? I have no idea. What the, you're not going to be able to hear the parade well. Three's lots of I'm like, well, if you're leaving, you're not going to hear it all that great either. All right. So then what you do, you took him to uh, Rockefeller Center for the Christmas show? Oh. No, we didn't do that. No. Broadway show? No. He got a couple of ladies. You could have taken them to a Broadway show, relaxed, and then when it was over, they'd be like, didn't you like that Broadway show? It was didn't warm that, in there. Didn't that girl just look like Janis Joplin or Carol King or the Supremes or whatever impressions they're doing these days? Um, Nick, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? Yeah. Um, says I was kind of. I'm wondering when you took Shelby to that dinner, were you maybe kind of poking and prodding to see if you could possibly get a little bit of acceptance from your family? And see how they kind of judged it. And if maybe you got that acceptance, would that possibly uh, help you to be able to pursue a relationship in the future? What's like the, after first of all, who's to be accepted by? It's an old lady. There's no reason that she should accept. She wouldn't have probably accepted if Fez was with an Asian girl. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's their no. generation. So what? What do you care? This was done simply to inflict emotional pain. I got news for you. If I went down to Thanksgiving and I took a 22-year-old hot blonde and I kept squeezing her titties and rubbing her under the table <laughs> during dinner, my parents would be weirded out by it. They'd be like, what is our son doing? But I don't go down there and go, I need to be accepted by you. I just assume that we're all weird and I go on with it. Uh, Jesse, Arkansas. You're hey, on the Fez, Run of Fez uh, show. Hey, Fez. Uh, I feel so bad for your mom. You know, what you did to your mom is something that a faggot would do. Why would you be a faggot and do that to her? Faggot, why don't you just die? All right, that's, that's three times. Was he saying yeah. fathead? Yeah, he said no, fathead. That's no, he was not. Because they wouldn't call it the other words, fathead. Now I'm glad I got the reaction out of him. Why? Why do you keep looking at Fez's blown up thing? <laughs> you can't stop looking at this fucking picture. It's great. 
How many times would you say you, you touched Shelby? Oh, God. I want to Why know. do you love that so much? It's, I'd say it's, probably 12, 15 times during the meal. Did you touch him uh, between his, um, underneath the table, let's just say? Uh, what I, yeah, what I did was I just kind of, I put my hand down oh. where they could see it down there. God. <laughs> and start doing this under the table. <laughs> and said to his mom, guess what I'm doing now? <laughs> You can't stop me, old lady. This is my Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> um, Adam, you're on the run of Fez show. Yeah, I was seeing if there's any chance Fez was uh, hoping that Shelps would return the uh, uh, Fez coming on to him. You can always hope, but I just want, you know, I'm like, I was thought, all right, I may go too far and weird Shelby out and he storms out of the restaurant. Or you could turn him. I'm sure you had that fancy, right? There's always the thought. Oh, God. All right, you're not going to... You're going to love this part of it. <laughs> so... Well, this is all of it so far. <laughs> no, you're going to go fucking crazy for this. <laughs> so Fez is... The first night, this is even pre-Thanksgiving, before I left. Okay. I hear from him. His niece disappears from the gang. Is gone, comes back in the wee hours of the morning. Oh, shit. Claiming out of all the bars in New York, right? Yeah. She was at Smith's Bar, <laughs> the old fucking sailor hangout. What? Where she claimed she was singing with the band. Oh, sure she was. <laughs> and so he calls me up. He's furious. He's pissed. I don't know what she was doing. I said, partying. She wanted to go out and party. Wow. Out of all the bars. That's awesome. Smith's. <laughs> that is fucking great. The last time I was there, two you rocked the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, out of all the bars, one we know. That's great. And one of the last real dive bars in that area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This place, is, uh, Smith's is great. It's a great bar. Good she for her. She stumbled right into it. She's got good taste. Why would you just text her, Fez? I didn't know what to do. She wants. She was. She's in New York City. She wants to get a couple of drinks. Fucking come on. She's white. Three times seven. She does whatever she wants. <laughs> Good for her. Like we used to say in my family, I'm white, straight, and twenty-one. I'll do whatever I want to do. World's my oyster. And this oyster is my oyster. So don't anybody touch it. It's a great raw bar in here, huh? Uh, there, I said the raw bar of Bar Americana is one of my favorite <laughs> ever. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I want to go to Smith's. Get this thing started. You can meet my niece there. She's still mm. there. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Don't, do, don't make that <laughs> noise. I'm just thinking. Uh, Ed, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, gentlemen. Uh, Fezzy, instead of looking like a, a couple like you wanted, aren't you kind of afraid that you more or less just look like a big old pedophile? Yes. No, Shelby's of age. He wanted to look gay. Well, you know, Shelby's pretty young. Were you actually starting to be a little turned on thinking about Shelby that night? Oh yeah, yeah. I was enjoying <laughs> the. I was sense. enjoying the uh, the whole facade. <laughs> oh, that, in your but I know, we know Fez. This facade is now turned into real, like real thoughts of I could get Shelby. <laughs> Just a couple more meals, get a couple cocktails in him. He's of age. One thing leads to another. I had to remind myself later on. Oh yeah, I forgot. Shelby says he's not gay. Oh no! This is a dangerous road you're going down, Fez. A weird Thanksgiving vendettas against your mother. I know. Another Thanksgiving that isn't a Thanksgiving. <laughs> Pulling Shelby. Just into another it. nightmare. Uh, hey, here's our buddy John and Mass. Hey guys, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving, man. Really did. Uh, I just want to thank Fez for reminding me what a jerk I was to my parents when I was a teenager. My dad's having major surgery next Tuesday and just had three stents put in his heart. And uh, 
I never realized how lucky I am to have parents that put up with all my bullshit when I was a kid. But it is hilarious, Fez. Thanks. See ya. You're welcome. Um, here's Mikey. Mikey, you're on the Run of Fez show. Uh, hey, Fez, you fucking suck. For what? <laughs> the bad restaurant? Yeah, then I'll agree with you. Why'd you send your mom home early? That's yeah, fucking mean. I was having too much of a panic attack with her here. Well, How, how did, did you the bring panic it up? Attack? She wasn't even staying at your place. She was in a hotel room, right? No, I was moving her out of the hotel room into my place. And how did you bring it up to her? It was just, I'm like, I have an incredible amount of work to do, and I'm getting nervous, and I don't know if I'm going to be home tomorrow when you're supposed to leave for your flight. So maybe it would be better. You can put it on my credit card if you change your flight. Whoa. I'll tell you this. When you take us out, how many dinners do you owe us? I believe 24. You're not taking us to this shit box. That's a fucking... No, that's, that's off the list. You got a month of fucking dinners coming. All right, we got to do a caption contest with Fez's family pick up on the iBank. Um, here's uh, Janice in Chicago. Hey. <laughs> um, thank you for Thanksgiving. It was great. Uh, I accidentally did the same thing to my father-in-law <laughs> that Fezzy did to his mother. What's that? <laughs> I, they're my cousin, Mike's cousin, actually, their n nephew. Now, his mother, I mean, it's so stereotypical. She wears the pants in the family. He's the only boy. He's the only kid. He's a designer for Banana Republic at the family reunion. We met this partner. Janice, your phone again, honey. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Can I call right back? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Bye. Uh, here's Chris of Maine. Yeah, I was wondering if anyone's checked on Shelby or is he still in that scalding hot rape shower from where Fez, you know, did his things to him? I'm still not talking to Shelby. I don't like to commiserate with prostitutes, male prostitutes at least. I'm still pissed at him from before. <laughs> if anything, this is his punishment. He gets fucking filled up in front of some old people from Florida. This is the weirdest shit that's ever happened. This is fucking totally crazy. You realize how nuts this is, right? You know how I'm saying perfect. Like a perfect plan. You know how impossible it is to have like a bad Thanksgiving in New York City when it's like Thanksgiving Central. <laughs> like between now and New Year's, it's all what people put on TV, what they believe it's supposed to be. You know, in two nights, they're going to turn on the tree. The whole country will be watching that. You can't have a bad time this time of year here. It's impossible. It's like I saying did. we went to Vegas and we couldn't find anywhere to gamble. <laughs> Looked everywhere. Um, Next year, it's just going to be me and Shelby. What? Sean, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, well, that's probably true. At least Fezzy's niece knows that every bet needs to pay off. She's out trying to get some of that. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> what do you think the odds are she got laid that night? Uh, 100% in the bathroom. Yeah. So you probably got fucked in the stall. In there. It's my niece. I don't think she took it up the ass, though. You never know. Uh, Bob, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, guys. This is like a really twisted, middle-aged, confused gay man, pretty woman. Uh, how much did you pay, Mr. Shelby? I didn't pay such Shelby anything. Well, he got Thanksgiving dinner. Did he? Oh, you, you cheap fucker. At least pay the guy. Yeah, he played a role, like... My God! He was hired help. Pay him. Fuck. I can't Do believe I like how you. cheap ass your fucking dessert looks that the two of you are showing off. <laughs> looks like Entenmann's Fez. If. Also, what day did, uh, <laughs> did your niece go out? Was it Wednesday? Was it the Wednesday she ended up at Smith's? Yeah, it must have been Wednesday night. Oh, night okay. before Thanksgiving. That's the biggest drinking night of the year. Like bar yeah. bars make the most money Wednesday night the Wednesday before Thanksgiving because everyone's home. 
And no one's working the next. A lot of people, most people aren't working the next day. And the band fucking let her sing. Okay. So here now, just fucking take this for a second. Fez goes out. He's lived in New York for fucking th fourteen years. Yeah. He can't meet anyone when he goes out to gay bars. His niece goes out and gets to sing with the band. <laughs> Day one. And one day she's having better New York experiences than you, and then you're pissed off that she's not with everyone else. She was having a great time. Mm, 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 mm. That, exactly. <laughs> we don't know if that mm, mm, mm happened. <laughs> Everyone's fucking home on that Wednesday. That, that's a that's a huge hookup night, drunk night. She's crazy good in bed. <laughs> How do we know wow. this? All right. hmm? I was one lucky dude in a bathroom stall or... Dudes. Oh, all right. Dudes. Well, you know, it's a family thing. It, it, your sister's been sick, right? Yeah. So she don't pull train anymore. That's her thing. I don't know if she pulled it to begin with, Ron. Mm, 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 mm. There's that noise again. Um, Get on the train. Come on, ride the train. Love that song. Who doesn't? All right, uh, we've got the picture of Fez and his family up. I like the fact that there, there is this huge space between Fez yeah. and his mother. Mm -hmm. Kind of that Last Supper picture. Um, it, 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 it tells wonders. She kept scooting her chair further away from me and Shelby. Okay, caption contest is on. Um. You got Fez sitting there, of course, Shelby. Uh, and this is your aunt, Fez? Yeah, that's my aunt on the left. And she decided to wear a velvet tracksuit. Mm -hmm. Then you got one of the girls from the Matrix stopping in. <laughs> this is your sister. That's my sister who has some eye problems and must wear sunglasses even inside dark restaurants. Say what I say. <laughs> Ooh. And then, mm, who's this? That's my niece. You know mm. who that is. Oh, that's my niece. That's mm. your niece, huh? Mm. Mm. Look at that. There's that mm. noise mm. again. Mm. Look at that, huh? And then, who's that young cutie? That is my mother. Mm. Now, mm. she gets an mm. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. I just want to do this. Caption this festive holiday meal. <laughs> <in a way. laughs> mm. Um... Only the niece has a smile. The one who was out all night the night before. Uh-huh. Knowing God knows who. Or what? Um, Fez and Shelby, just crazy looking together. Then you got Velvet, Elvis, Looks confused, Matrix, actually. they're all there. Now, Fez's mom, I'm not saying she looks helpless, but at the very least at this point, Harmless. At, all right, look, for real, when I first saw it, I thought Fez's aunt was his mother. I, I didn't even see his mom in the background there in the darkness. <laughs> on the darkness <laughs> on the edge of town, that's her. All right, I'm going to read some of these off to you. <laughs> Moments before the world's weirdest gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> no stuffing during or after dinner edit. Here is a rare colorized photo of one of the last dinners of the Titanic. <laughs> Moments before the world's weirdest gangbang. Oh, no stuffing during or after dinner. That's so funny. Um, I'm not sure who I'd rather go out with, Shelby or the hot blonde. And that's Liz Sets Fire, Whoa. who also wrote to me. That's my niece, Liz. Who's crazy in bed. Well, how do we know this? Mm -hmm. The Golden Girls. Oh. All right, let me just... This thing is spinning so fast. Kids in the Hall Thanksgiving reunion didn't go over as well. <laughs> show, Shelby, show me on the Elmo doll where Fez tickled you. How many dicks can Fez's niece take? I'd give her two. That's just wrong. Is that Paul McCartney in the background? I'm not sure. See that. Like mother, like daughter. Dropping overalls in the woods. Or a men's room. 
<laughs> Someone tell great grandma she's got a vanilla milkshake. Mustache. That's Fez. Shelby and Fez's knees hooked up in the bathroom. Did they talk at all, Fez? No. No. Wow. I think everyone was too weirded out. It was a very quiet dinner. <laughs> Happy Twinksgiving. God, I would love to have been at that dinner. Should have went. You could have been my date. No, I would. Shelby would have been the date still. Wicker than sticker. Is this why Captain Kangaroo shouldn't be trusted around kids? <laughs> All right, the blonde is his aunt. The short blonde hair. The yeah. foreground. Yeah, yeah, on the left. Then the little woman shrinking as this is going on. <laughs> and the kind of turquoise blue shirt is his mom. Yeah, and she did get tinier as the meal went through. Shrekalov has only in New York. Shelby and all his favorite girls. Fez can't stop licking the turkey's ass. I can't help thinking there's a rape and murder story after this. All up on the eye bang, your chance to win. Last photo from the Fiora Bunka. <laughs> <laughs> I got more sex dedication. This is just wrong, Rorschach. It's a good song. That's See? my sweet young niece. Mm. Sweet and young, exactly. Like a peach. That doesn't sound like a compliment. Why isn't it a peach? Like a juicy peach. Everybody likes a peach. Everyone likes that peach juice just running down you. Oh, yeah. Catcher came comes up. Um... The scarf is perfect with that handsome gay man shirt. <laughs> Mom's slowly trying to escape under the table. Planes, trains, and autoimmune disease. <laughs> Even Charlie Brown would refuse to feed these people. A boy's best friend is his mother's. Fez's sister wearing Ronnie B's sunglasses. Hmm. Now, why does she have to wear sunglasses in? She, um, her eyes from her bone marrow transplant, her eyes are damaged. Mm -hmm. And they don't make as many tears as they used to. She has to keep usually one to two pairs of sunglasses on and keep using eye drops, which she did through the entire dinner. Why are you mad about that? No, I'm just saying that's. You act like she ruined it. dinner. Your sunglasses are ruined this whole... I'm with Shelby. Now, can she see anyone? Because I can barely even see in this room. Can she see with the sunglasses on? She has a, she has a lot of trouble seeing, which was another reason why it was hard, uh, hard getting the group all over New York City. Fez, you're a monster to try to hurt that elderly, tiny woman. It's a miracle that Nisa Fizz came back to them after the bar. <laughs> She should have just stayed Smith. Got a job there. Uh, Fez should move his niece in with him so she can show him how to get that dick. People asking if your niece is still single. Uh, yes. Uh oh. Another ugly breakup. With who? Um, I had never met this guy. Some you said that your Smith. niece is kind of crazy pussy, right? She gets crazy. <laughs> she gets really um, possessive, needy. What? Upset. No. Try. I don't know any of that part. Then you would need lube. As a sexual lady, as long as... I can see lube for the ass, but <laughs> <laughs> she does. She's not a good breaker upper. What does that mean? She takes it really, really hard. Starts slashing stuff up. Or, uh, yeah. Know, destroys furniture. That's happened. Lights places on fire. Windows I love, broken. I love those kind of chicks. So she'll destroy property. Yeah. Just fucking, fucking turn on crazy drama for no reason. Fucking screaming, cut my throat, Dad. Just cut my throat. Let's end it. You made me a bore. Oh, okay. You're just like... Looking around the bar, oh, you know, whatever. Well, it takes two for that fucking dance. 
three, really, if you count the doctor. I was trying to hold on to the car door. Um, here's one. You can cook a turkey, but it's impossible to cook shame. <laughs> oh, Shelby, shortly before he received a matching white mustache. Not the cool table. Peace Man wants to know who the fuck took this picture. That's a good question. That was the waiter, so we could all be in it. Was he weirded out? I would be if I was this waiter. He didn't seem to have problems with elderly people and a same-sex couple at the table. Probably because it's only his job to bring people food and not uh, judge. Anyone have any cocktails at, at dinner? No. <laughs> not even little shelves? Shelby fucked no, up Nobody there. drinks. Who did most of the talking? Well, I think it was me. I think my sister was trying to get some conversation going. But everyone else was pretty quiet. Just embarrassed? Yeah, just not knowing what to say. Mm. Bill, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ronnie V, I think you guys have crossed the line. Thank God this is the XL channel. This things are out of control over there. What's going on over there with Ron Fez? Bill, you have no, if you don't know, just listen for a while. You have no reason to call with that. That's just a stupid call. Um, I'm surprised that you'd want to put a picture of your family up online, Fez, knowing the problems that you've had in the in the past, stalkers, people figuring out where your mom lived and stuff like that, posting it on a certain website. Well, I didn't, you know, put any names up. I thought it was just a nice Thanksgiving picture of everybody. Yeah, I, I didn't think of it in a bad way. But you don't think that's something that would bring stalkers even in closer? I would hope not. You don't think this puts a target on your niece? Well, I mean, my niece, it's... Um, you ought to let her come up by yourself. That's the trip she's looking for. Yeah. yeah. She, I mean, she got the hell out of there and just parted a bar. It's yeah. the first second she got I mean, when you do that, you can't imagine that there's no one that you want to talk with on this. <laughs> you know, not even to say... Uncle T, why don't you and I go out, you know? Just to go out by yourself to a dive bar and just start fucking slamming shots? She must have been in hell. Yeah, she got out. Just, you know, by herself in New York City. Just, well, that place looks great. I guess I'll go in there. Smith's? Let's dive central. How many pics you got of her, Fez? Uh, that's the only one I got of her this weekend. No, but uh, other pictures. Oh, I don't have any other pictures of her. Mm. I got a couple. Oh. If you want to see him. Why do you have pictures of her? Some of them are not, you know, for mixed company. Break them out. When were those taken? Hey, uh, Vinny. Vinny, you're on the Run of Fez show. Rape, murder, rape. Why rape? Because I like rape. That's what the game is rape. Um, wait. Marry, fuck, kill. Kill. All right. How would you do that? Hicks with the people in this picture. Okay. I would marry Fez to get the cash. I'd <laughs> fuck Shelby. Marry. I guess I. I can't believe I, he could <laughs> fuck his niece. I kill the niece. Just uh, be Why? weird. Be weird. Well, you did it. I, I I would I would just rape Shelby. You think Shelby's prettier than the niece? Or that's at least a toss-up. I'm talking about I'm talking about strictly mouth. Look, for, yeah, from the neck up, Shelby's <laughs> going to be fucking prettier than everyone, right? Yeah. But then you're chuck, stuck with his chicken chest. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're getting married, and I don't know if there's going to be any sex, but this is how it is. Well, no, I didn't table. get picked for fuck. All right, let me ask you this, Fez. So you do this prank on your mom, right? Uh-huh. Suppose she had a stroke at the table and died. Which is very possible in her condition. How would you have felt today? Would you have felt like, what a success I showed her? Or what did I do? My prank backfired. I would have said, you know what? Good. She got to see me in my own element on a same-sex date before she died. Um, that isn't your own element. You've never been in one. 
This is a made up game. It's like if fucking Chris Stanley came in here dressed as a princess. It wouldn't have been, I'm finally really a princess. Hello, everyone! I'm the princess of the story. She would have, adi- she would have died at least thinking I had somebody in my life. That's not a bad thing. She would have died because of a lie. I wonder if Fez really would be a good date. Well, we can agree you're a bad son. Do we all agree on that? That's fine. You're a bad business partner. You're a bad employee. What do you feel like? What relationship are you good at? Um, I'm a good brother. To my siblings, I think I'm a good wait, brother. Wait a minute. You called up one brother and said that he was a bad father. I was just being concerned. <laughs> The other brother you call a drug addict. Oh, yeah. And a drunk, and you make fun of him and call him Corky, which is named after a retard. That's why he calls his brother Corky. That's not his name. I thought that was his real name. No, it's Corky from that fucking TV show, The Retarded Singer. Oh, God. Yeah. That's not being a good brother. Here's um, Scott. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie, how great would it have been if Fez's family would have played up to this and asked him to kiss or something like that? I mean, that would have just made the night even better. That's actually fucking hysterical. We would have had to go through with it. I'm sure you'd think that. (laughs) Here's what's weird, though, about Fez. Well, everything. Now, after that, here's what's strange. I used to know Fez, he made... He just, his world was large. He had a lot of friends, a lot of people that he used to interact with. Yeah. Then when he started to get weird and paranoid, it was only the people on the show and his family, right? Yeah. Then it got weird, like, you know, he started to cut off the ONA guys and not be friends with them. So it was just us and his family. Now even he's not happy to see his family come here. Like, as bad as Fez did on this, he used to be the vacation plan guy. The guy that wanted everybody to come up and take them to the tourist places and have fun with them. You don't, you know the old you would have been able to pull off a nice fucking trip. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I don't have those skills anymore. What are the skills? Make a fucking reservation at a dinner? Of just dealing with that many people that have that many problems and where they want to go all over the place. And just moving them back and forth had me in a blind panic. What were you in panicking about? That I was going to lose one, that one was going to fall on the sidewalk. I really felt like when you see the nursery school teacher in Manhattan and she's got all the kids on one rope. Did they know that you were panicking about it? Did they know you were upset? Um, There was a couple times where I'm like, I just need to step away for a second and get some air. So you didn't even enjoy having your sister here this time? No, it was just, they're not built to get around Manhattan like they used to be. But they think they are. Did you take them to any other restaurants besides the 1983 cruise ship? Brooklyn Diner. You know that's not trying. Going all out. That's what they wanted to do. You've got to be the guy. You're the host. I didn't have the energy. Do you take this as a fail? Oh, yeah. Huge fail. Epic fail? Other than uh, Shelby and my mother, epic fail. That's also a failure, Fez. It is a failure. And it was mean. Mean because, A, you know, there's no reason for you to make your mom feel that way. And then, B, mean to Shelby because he looks so perfect in that stupid fucking needy twink role. Look, if Fez had never wanted to bring in Shelby to get at his mother, he would have had a great dinner at Bar Hurricane. Like, the, the, you wouldn't have had to have an extra person in. Are you thinking that too, Fez? Did you even tell Shelby you're the one who cost us a good dinner? No, I didn't say that. So you don't think he's found out about it? No, you've heard He him. may have heard about it by now. You've hurt your mother. At least your niece had a good time. Mm. She went out and made it a good time for herself. Exactly. Though. She went out on her own, yeah. looking for it. Got a couple cocktails. She got fucking railed. Oh, Jesus. 
Now, Fez, you say you always want to be happy, right? Mm-hmm. How is being mean going to lead to your happiness? I was very happy to present myself in a gay way to my mother. I was very thrilled about that. That's not presenting her in a gay way. To say to your mom, this is Steve. He's a very important person in my life. We think we'd like to spend the rest of our lives together. We'd like to have you in our lives as well. Instead of basically hiring a twink, a straight twink, yeah, that's even... to go out, let you pull on him while he ate some bad food. Yeah, for it's just a shitty meal. I didn't have a real boyfriend, or I would have brought him. Oh. But going to the lengths of grabbing Shelby, a guy we all know, who isn't gay, and then using him in a as a gay substitute, touching him inappropriately. Like a cock sock, really. Yeah. It's no different than if you would have fucking shoved him over your dick like he was a, a condom. Just a fuck, a run-of-the-mill fuck sleeve. Actually, if I had to guess, I'd say Shelby was gay. He just doesn't know it yet. And no way is he going to fucking, you know, be the person he turns out with. This old crazy fucking queen with the giant mustache. I'll say the only thing that I like about this uh -huh. is the giant mustache. That you now have a brand that you're known by. Most people don't have that. Mustache, man. It's bigger in the picture than I thought it was. No, it's the same size. It's huge. Do you love it, Fez? I don't care for the mustache. I get a little claustrophobic around it. Around it? It's, it's right there. It's yes, it goes up my nose. It goes in my mouth. Right. you got to get at least give it another year to see what happens. It's a year old now. Right. It turned a year old on Thanksgiving. Right. You don't want to do that for... Just give it up now, now that you got it working good. And I think it does look gay. Looks oddly gay. On Fez, yeah, it does look gay. It's. I think it looks gay on David Crosby. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest here. I think Wild Bill looks fucking gay in that mustache. Most walruses look gay to me. You don't want to get rid of your gay thing, though, do you, Fez? No, but I thought I was going to grow the Amish beard in return. Get rid of the mustache and then go yeah. complete reverse. No. Gays don't have Amish beards. <laughs> that is gay the Amish would. Last thing There's no such thing. A gay man would want on another gay man. Giant, crazy neck beard. No. A mustache is so much smarter than a goddamn Amish beard. Those things look fucking terrible. Who's our interns today? Uh, both Vito and Castro. All right, we're going to let them come in have their vote on it. All right, good. Man, do you remember when Castro used to fucking dress up for every show? <laughs> yeah, it's over. That's she, long gone. She was the most well-dressed young person ever. Now she just rolls out of bed and comes here. Vita, what'd you do? Join the Marine Corps while you were gone? You, you, you got a new haircut? Yeah, I got a new haircut. My hair was getting too long. So I cut it off. My barber was closed for like a month, so that's why my hair was getting like that. All right. Now, you know gay culture because of your brother, Castro. And Vito, you are obviously know hipster culture, right? Yes. What is gay? Fez having an Amish beard, gay, or that giant gay mustache? The mustache. Yeah. The mustache. All right. So it's then, Fez. At least for one more year. If All right. You're straight. And a hipster, then you could rock the beard. Or a mustache, though. They rock or, a lot yeah, of... Yeah, they rock a lot of mustaches. A highly stylized mustache. Yeah, with like the wax and stuff and yeah. they twirl it up. This is an Amish beard. This ain't gay. This guy isn't blowing anyone. He's not getting blown by any dudes. No. Yeah. I mean, that'd be great Like if you want the plow and stuff, I guess. Or build a barn. Which I don't. <laughs> you know, they build those barns so fast, I don't even know how good they are. This would be more like Fez's beard, though, because of the gray... The Great. caption contest still coming is crazy. Dinner for smucks. Meet the creeps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you've been with girls before, right, Castro? Yeah. Would you be with Fez's niece? That's back here, the blonde. I don't like blondes. Well, she's not a natural blonde, though. It's like a platinum blonde thing. Yeah, she, she went really real pretty. platinum since the last time I saw her. And that's because she was in a bad relationship? I would imagine. The big changes, you know, once How another bad was boy dumps her. What does she do? She gets she wants to get married. Mm -hmm. 
So I think she starts looking down the aisle before the rela- the other person in the relationship is there. And you said says so she's crazy with it, right? And yeah, she gets insane. really obsessed with that. And what does she do? She just gets very. She's uh, she's a jealous type. Just screaming! I know you fucked them. Mm-hmm. Are you the uh, a jealous type, Castro? Mm, no. Could you be in a menage with your boyfriend? A menage? Yeah, another person. Oh. Like invite a check in? No. Another dude? No. Uh, maybe. maybe. We actually talked about that this weekend. Another he said dude? No. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun, but he said no. And then he said, what about a girl? And I said, fuck that. Why? I thought you said you like being with girls. Yeah, but that's my time. I want to be the star. I don't want him touching another girl. Okay. I see. <laughs> All right. Good call. Let's read some of these. What? No restaurants. Here's what it just says. Anus's restaurant. <laughs> they're creepy and they're kooky. The bland. The only thing tighter than the mood of this dinner is Fez's hopes of Shelby's virgin asshole. Oh, we don't know if it's virgin. Castro doesn't even want another girl in bed. Basically confirms she's a lousy fuck. <laughs> um, I ordered for the table. Kingston Pete says, I'm trying to think of excuses to get out of this dinner, and I'm not even there. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have heard the conversation. I feel like I missed out. Here's, I have gone. Steve says, who'd have thought crazy runs in Fez's family? Three hags, two fags, and a comeback. That's awful. (laughs) Brutal. (laughs) Let's try to guess who's who, though. Okay. I have Shelby as the comeback. (laughs) I don't know. The the niece did go out to that bar. We don't know what happened. And sang. All we know is she sang. No, she sang for it, all right. (laughs) Listen to this. Old, young, dumb, old, blind, and full of cum. (laughs) Beginning to notice a theme. <laughs> and you promise this will get me back on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that boy does not belong on the ONA channel. He's too much of a piece of garbage. And I love the kid. But I don't think you can fuck up in this world. It's a big fuck up. Morpheus and the Gay Tricks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the one that says, I want to volunteer to bang the chick in the shades. That is so nice. That's Can awful. you imagine the smell of those chairs? All the fartly watleys in one place. Oh, God damn, these are mean. Did Martha Washington bring back Ron's umbrella? Did she? Hey, Mom, smell my oh. finger. Fez's niece equals Jack time. <laughs> That is so fucking nice. Send her that. Send Sound her that nice. comment. Fez and his bounty of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and eat, Mom. I have a ton of work to do. What work? So many people are fucking laughing of you telling your mom that you have work to do. I had to get her out the door. Um, uh, Millie says, I'm focused on the fact that Fez had no centerpiece on that table. What happened, Fez? That was actually the beginning of, hey, Fez is crazy. And this was years ago back at NEW. Fez says that when invited to a holiday party, he'll send a centerpiece first. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You're nuts. So we go round and round with it. Then finally we call up the person who Fez said he sent the centerpiece to, she had no recollection <laughs> and thought the idea was insane. She got a centerpiece. She's throwing me under the bus. No. What under the bus? The centerpiece bus? <laughs> yes. People do not send centerpieces. Isn't that, like, rude? Because you're kind of saying, like, you can't decorate your own table. Let me oh, decorate I agree. it for you. You know what I really despise? Without checking ahead, someone bringing dessert, yeah. right? So someone brings some fucking chocolate eclairs from the supermarket, mm. and the host has already made a nice fucking cake or a pie, and you're like, who asked you to do this? I feel like the more dessert, the better. 
But you're not the host of that fucking party. I would definitely not invite you back if you came in there with a box of Fruit Loops saying, "Let's eat this after the dinner." <laughs> you're one and done, Vito. <laughs> I just I thought it was eclairs. Was Fez used delicious. to bring a fucking Carvel Blue ice cream cake to my house every time he came over. Till finally, I said, "Fez." I'll fucking throw that ice cream cake out in the street if you bring it again. And he's like, why? I go, I hate it. <laughs> I don't eat it. You eat two slices, and then I have a frozen shitty cake sitting in my freezer. How many times did, did, would you guesstimate that he brought fucking Carvel cakes? Well, we used to have a, a friendship where he used to come over at least once a week, and he would bring a, uh, an ice cream cake every single time. Ooh. Do you, do you know how much money you wasted on fucking ice cream cakes? Well, you know, since we were all five years old, and that's what children <laughs> like, Carvel ice cream cakes. Was it different kinds, or was it just... No, it was the same <laughs> blue fucking fudgy the whale bullshit cake. See, what's good about it is there's ice cream and there's cake all the same. And neither is good. It's not good ice cream or good cake.